we are going to solve for the root of f of x equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 20 closest to 0. So we are going to use bisection method in solving this one. So let's put first the coefficient x cubed, x squared, x and then the constant. The coefficient of x cubed is 1 and x squared is 5, x is 7 and then the constant is negative 20. So we'll make the first column as x and then the second column as f of x. Start with x as negative 100 and then negative 99 and so on until 100 for us to get our initial values. So let's solve f of x that will be x cubed times the x cubed plus 5 times x squared plus 7 x plus negative 20. We will format it to 10 decimal places to be more accurate. And then let's make the negative values color red for us to distinguish easily the positive and negative values. These are the values of f of x given the values of x from negative 100 to positive 100. From here, we can see that the shift of color is in x equals 1 and x equals 2. Which means f of x as x equals 1 equals negative and then positive for f of 2. Therefore, our initial values will be 1 and 2. And then our x, xn will be 1 and xp will be 2. And by section method, know that In the section method, we know that x nu equals xn plus xp all over 2. We will make a table with first column xn, second column f of xn. Then third column is xp and then fourth is f of xp. Then the fifth column will be the x nu. Then the last column will be f of x nu. Then from the initial value that we got, our xn is 1. Then xp is 2. Then let's make it. 10 decimal places and let's copy the function here Then from our equation here, x nu is 
xn plus xp over 2. And then for x nu, we'll just copy it here to here. And then let's also make this 10 decimal places. From the steps of bisection method, if f of x nu is negative, then we'll take the x nu as the nu xn. But if f of x nu is positive, we'll make it as the nu xp. Therefore, we'll, make, we'll use uh, if function here. We'll use if function. So our logical test will be if f of x nu is negative, which is less than 0, then, then our value will be x nu. However, if that is positive or 0, we will retain the value of xn from the previous iteration. Let's make it 10 decimal places again. And then for xp, we'll also use the if, if function. And then the logical test will be if f of x nu is positive or greater than 0, then we'll take the value of f of x nu as the xp. However, if that is false, we'll take the previous value of xp. Then let's make that also in 10 decimal places. Then we'll only drag this. And this, then we are only going to drag this portion until we get the value f of x nu equals zero. From here, we can see that the f of x nu starts equaling to zero here which means our root is one point therefore our root is one point three one zero zero five five eight zero four six